I'm Alexandre Kantorov, I'm a French pianist. Well, I know that in, in normal life I would say uh, relaxed and also in the side of the introverted people and suddenly, yeah, on stage you sort of channel and you express yourself in a way and in these moments you have to become transparent and open up to everybody so that they can connect to what you do. And I know these moments are precious because these are the, the moments I can communicate with the world in, in a different way than normal. Uh, the piano is... Uh, um, what, what makes it special, I think, is the fact that even more, I think, than other instruments, uh, it has a very sp special bond that you create in a very few, uh, very little time, actually. We discover the, the, the instruments as we go on, and in a way, uh, we have to, at the same time, have the sound and have our interpretation in our body and not uh, let it uh, in, at the will of the instrument. For the recital that I will be doing in El Philharmonie, I chose to play uh, uh, Brahms' first sonata. Brahms has yeah, been for a long time a special composer to me. I've played quite a lot of his music and I would say that I'm very interested in his early works. In his early works, he, he's a lot more closer to Schumann, to Liszt, to these sort of more extreme ways of doing music. I've played the second and the third sonata already and recorded them and, and it was quite natural to make a program out of the first one also. And I, I chose Leaders by Schubert to go with them and uh, the Van der Hoffen Fantasy to finish. I'm gonna play Rachmaninoff first concerto with the Munich Philharmonic and the Thomas Engelbrock. It's a piece that isn't as popular as the second or the third, which are the, the two sort of big milestones of Rachmaninoff music, but it's, it's a very different feeling. I, I feel in a way it has maybe less of the nostalgia and the darkness, but a lot more of the romantic and uh, the passions. And it's a, it's, for me, it's one of the most passionate music uh, Rachmaninoff ever wrote. But then he revised a lot this piece, and uh, it was a lot later, after even the second and the third. So what you get is a very youthful material when he, that he wrote when he was extremely young. You get uh, also a, a maturity in a, a very precise way and a very dense way way of doing music. It's this way to uh, make every note count, to put the whole drama in, in very little elements. And, and so the result is, is, is really for me a masterpiece. <laughs> We're lucky at the Philharmonie. Uh, generally in these halls where the audience surrounds you, everybody's closer to you. In some halls, the, the last people in the audience are so far away that you, uh, you really feel that how can they <laughs> connect to you. But here, no, because everybody's near the, the stage. You really, I think, get a communion and, uh, and it's, a, it's a special feeling.